About a week ago, the map of Ukraine looks like this. Today, the map looks like this. Russian forces in the north are withdrawing. It has been more than six weeks, and things aren't going well for the Russians. While Russia claims to have lost over a thousand soldiers, NATO estimated that Russia has lost between 7,000 to 15,000 troops, and Ukraine estimated more than 18,000 soldiers. In comparison, the Soviet Afghan war that lasted almost 10 years has less than 15,000 casualties. Russia has since revised its military objective, saying that the first phase of the operation was a success and that Donbass was its goal all along. Despite committing a 40-mile long convoy and paratroopers to assault Hostomel Airport, and then losing many of those troops. Before the invasion, Notice how President Putin mentioned Ukraine and not Donbass. Russia reasons that attacking Kyiv was to stop Ukraine from reinforcing Donbass. Based on this logic, Russia would have to attack NATO countries to stop them from reinforcing Ukraine. Russian troops has brought ceremonial uniforms with them. It is unlikely that Russian forces do not have enough combat uniforms. The more likely explanation is that they expected an easy win and were planning a victory parade. This is also supported by Russian state-run news agency accidentally publishing a news article claiming victory and the return of Russia to its historical borders in Europe. But it's not all good news for Ukraine. As Ukrainian forces retake their northern territory, they were greeted with horror. Russia denies committing these war crimes. The city of Mariupol is also surrounded by Russian forces and about 5,000 civilians have been killed. It has also been reported that Ukrainians in Russian-occupied territory are forcefully deported to Russia. As Russia is repositioning its forces to focus on the Donbass region, it is likely that Russia wants to save face and claim some form of victory by liberating Donetsk and Luhansk. Russian forces could perform a pincer movement to surround Ukrainian forces. However, Ukrainian forces in the region have well-established defensive positions and are relatively more experienced given that they have been in combat since 2014. Additionally, Ukrainian forces previously defending Kyiv can now reinforce the eastern region. Moreover, those Russian forces redeployed from the north would have been exhausted and low on morale at this point. Ultimately, this really depends on Russian military performance in the upcoming weeks of the conflict. A peaceful resolution between Russia and Ukraine is less likely now as Ukraine thinks it has the upper hand after the Russian withdrawal from the north. Less than 1% of Ukrainians believe Russia will win the war. It is also unlikely that Ukraine would willingly give Russia its eastern territories. Although President Zelensky has said that Ukraine will no longer insist to join NATO. If you like my video, do drop a like and subscribe since majority of you are not.